for the BCOSC. My roots run really deep here in Colorado Springs. My father opened his first business here in 1958, and it's still a thriving business. Mm. So business, mm. small business Colorado Springs is deep in my DNA, and I'm really glad to be a part of a community that supports small business. We really have a passion in the BCOSC to fill the need that is here for small business connection, and we're going to do that in a variety of ways. We're going to have networking events that are real networking, places where businesses can One person is going to have one piece of it, another person is going to have another piece, and we're going to put them together and create a stronger base. At the BCOSC, our focus is helping small businesses not only grow, but to thrive as we create a better Colorado Springs area. I believe in free market, and I believe in the ability to choose our life purpose. And if that life purpose is being an entrepreneur or a small business owner, we at the BCOSC are here to support with networking, education, and advocation. And you're all invited this Thursday night to our opening of our business chamber at the Color Springs Country Club at 5.30. And you'll get to learn more about us there. Please um, let us know if you can make it. And Lana Forrest is going to tell you, or Coke is going to tell you more about our membership as the Vice President of Product Development. We are so excited you're here. And honestly, it has been, we really only started about a week ago. trying to get from them what they want. What do small business want in Colorado Springs? And being who I am, I had a multi-million dollar company for nine and a half years called Monarch Publishing. And we were the largest direct mail magazine in the state of Colorado. Mm -hmm. So we mailed 800,000 homeowners four times a year. And it was amazing, the production we would put on. Um, and with that, I have 225 <coughs> clients. And so of the 225 clients, they look at me and say, Lana, what? there is nothing for us. Nobody is looking out for us. We're more worried about paying our utility bill and making our bottom line to go sit in City Hall all day long. So nobody is paying attention to what we need and our needs. So in that short period of time, we've been able to gain a whole slew of members, and we haven't even opened our doors. So we opened those on Thursday. We're so excited. And um, I think with the three of us and our staff, we'll be able to really help change Colorado Springs back to our founding roots and what made us Colorado and what made Colorado Springs the way we are as well. So I'm going to turn it over to Kanda, Government Affairs Officer. Hi, everyone. I am so excited <coughs> because I have two amazing partners that I've been blessed with. And I want to tout Jill Davis a little bit. She is actually a very competent, accomplished individual and doesn't tout her solution uh, for, for businesses. Uh, those businesses who really don't want government <coughs> intervention, don't want government money, they just want to be represented. And so my goal is basically to go and advocate for them. Already we have some businesses bringing their concerns to us and some of those concerns include the fact that they, there's these bureaucratic mandates that they don't understand and why is this happening and they don't even know where it's coming from and even city council wasn't aware of them. So I'm doing a lot of the research for city council to try to get these things uh, taken off and, and stop hindering the business owners and help them to achieve all they can achieve because if we left them alone I think they would do very well on their own. So thank you all for coming here and I'm going to turn it over to Jill again. And we've all had an opportunity to visit a little bit, but if you have questions, I'm here to answer them. If I can, which I think I mostly can. Are, you, a, have are you an adjunct of the mayor's office? I know <laughs> that when I first interviewed with the mayor, 
<clears throat> he said that he needs to reduce regulation. He wants to make it easier for businesses to, uh, <coughs> to uh, function well and easily uh, and happily with his administration. And I'm just wondering if you're part of that. So my answer to that is um, I'm not really exactly sure how the mayor is doing his business. I read about it. I know a little bit about it. But what I do know is what we're going to do. And our goal is really to make a difference for small businesses. Um, whether it's Canada going down and, and working with the government or Lana finding businesses that need help. It's about making a difference for the businesses. And I don't know about other groups, but we won't be accepting any funding from government or um, any kind of uh, anything yeah, that could sway, sway our ag and make an agenda that we don't have an agenda for. We are free market. We want to look out for the best interests of all businesses. Um, in the long run. Great. Stop choking, government. <laughs> yes. so, is there a particular business side that you want to focus on? I know you guys said small business a lot small. because that's where the big, the big need is. But would you turn anybody away that wants help? So, no. I would not turn anyone away. If they are a free market-based business, we've got it. And not only that, because I come from a micro-based business. We've got it all the way from micro-based <coughs> to large business. Perfect. So, and, and the SBA qualifies as small business as anything under 500. Right. So, we're, so, so you're primarily just focused on the, the health and wellness of the business community as a general. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for Free marketing. Thank, thank you. How many uh, networking events do you anticipate having every month? I know you're going to be doing a lot of uh, advocacy as far as on the legal end, but what about, the, what about just networking opportunities and meetups? Well, we're going to have at least two a month, but we'll add to those as our membership grows. And so our, our, our meetings are the first Monday. It's a chamber with the coffee, and then the third Thursday will be after hours. 